So today we are working on this John Deere GX75. Remember, I got this thing for free a while ago. It didn't run when we got it, and we got her all fixed up, and now she runs great. But we run out of fuel really fast, and I found the culprit. We've got a leaking fuel valve right here, and it's not the hose. It's the actual valve itself that leaks fuel. It'll hold gas long enough for me to mow grass. If I park it, it'll be empty or just like that the next day. We're also going to adjust the brakes because I don't currently have any of those. Clean the deck off and try to get the blade off and sharpen the blade as well. This thing's been running great and I've been mowing a lot of grass with it. So I'm going to put a little bit more time into it to make it, to, to make it not nicer. 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 So I got these off Amazon. It was super cheap. I think it was like nine bucks for two of them maybe anywho we're just gonna throw this on here and replace that probably gonna leak a little bit of gas doesn't look like it now I did not expect that it's got two different size two different size fuel lines coming in Wow neat why do we do that well that's not gonna work what in the heck oh oh what? sorry I accidentally sat on the walkie-talkie Kids, kids, um, why do this? The good news is the inline fuel filters that I buy that I keep on hand also have two different um, size barbs or whatever you want to call them for the fuel line. So we'll just slide the fuel filter upstream of the valve and the valve downstream of that, and then that should work. Come on, come on. Yep. 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 There we go. And we'll put the valve there. It does say it's directional, so I am following that. Can't imagine that it matters too crazy much, but. Alright, let me go grab a new fuel filter from the barn. All right, so here's the fuel filter I'm talking about. You can see it's got two different sizes. Smaller one would go on there. Large one you just push further on. We'll see if we can get that to work. I will say that even the smaller one, I still kind of twist and force up onto the bigger one. Just for the sake of it. Always feels a little bit more secure. No, that's still... Man, why is that line so big? Why is that line so big and this line... Why, John Deere? Why would you do this? I think I found a way to make it work for now. So this is quarter inch, but coming off that tank is a 3 8 hose, but I found some 5 16 and I bet we can force that 5 16 onto that 3 8 and that 5 16 should work on the bigger part, the bigger part of the filter there with an actual hose clamp. I'm betting we can make that work. Should've got, <laughs> that's way too tight for a hose clamp, but look at me go, huh? We're doing it, all right. I should've got a hose clamp for this part too. I bet that'll work. Let's put some gas in and find out. We'll just leave this sit while we're working on the brakes and uh, getting that blade sharpened up. We'll make sure nothing comes out of it. And then maybe we'll go mow, I don't know. All right, so here's the brakes on the GX75. See that little disc right there, see this? That linkage is attached to the pedal, and when you push the pedal, that pulls it forward and pulls, what was that? Pterodactyl, did you hear it? Anywho, it engages some kind of doohickey in this mechanism, and I'm just guessing, I'm, listen, I don't think it should have that much play, so we're gonna tighten it till the play comes out of it, and then see if that gives me brakes. Somebody in the comments will be able to explain to you how it actually works, if you're super curious, I am not. I'm just doing a good old educated guess here. Hopefully my guess is better than what it was for that wrench. I'm just going to tighten that down until the slack is out of it. I bet that's pretty good. There's no play. And there's a lot less anyway. All right, we got this super professional setup going on. That's nice, I like it. Anyway, there's just a single bolt. You'll see it, it's right below all this twine from, from straw, probably. Not really sure how we've been mowing any grass. 
But we're gonna see if we can get this thing off there. Let me sharpen her up. Boop. Okay. Right. Are these reverse threaded? Who knows? Maybe we're tightening it. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna go to the barn and get the impact. We're gonna. I'm not gonna be so optimistic. We'll try the old quarter inch first, just because clearance issues. But if, let's see. Uh, the Walt shovel's not as good as it used to be. There we go. Now we've got the clearance we need. It's a pretty fancy operation, honestly. I really can't remember if these are reversed or not. Our lawn mower blade reverse threaded. When in doubt, Google out. That's what I sometimes say. Yes and no. All right, now that's the answer that it was not helpful. Okay. Good old-fashioned experimentation. Well, either it's threaded normally or we broke it. Those are the two. Looks like it's threaded normally on this one. Wonderful. As far as the blade itself, the whole blade overall looks pretty good. We just need to touch it up. I'm actually, I'm just going to use an older flap disc croc model. An older flap disc because I don't want to take a crazy amount off. I'm not trying to make it like a razor. Just good enough to cut grass. Well. That should do her. Blade sharpen, brakes work, fuel leak fixed. This all looks good. There's no leaks on that line anywhere along there. So hopefully we're not running out of gas between mows as it drips out. Definitely cuts better, definitely stops better. Not bad for a free mower, hard to beat it. A whole lot of you guys on the previous video had a lot of suggestions of what to do with the bladder from inside of that IBC tote that we made for a little fuel rack, whatever you want to call it. And we've got a lot of ideas. I think you're going to like them.